the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. And the snow continues to fall through much of the Treasure Valley. It is only light snow, but combined with the wind and those temperatures below freezing now, causing all kinds of problems on the roadways. The snow is just blowing across the road. Some places is not much snow. Other places you have snow coming across, cars going over it and causing that ice to form. And that's going to be occurring through much of the night. The wind will stick with us into the morning hours tomorrow, then begin to settle on down during the day tomorrow. And that will tend to help things out. Plus, the snow is going to be letting up. We already see it letting up in eastern Oregon, where a few inches of snow, one to three inches of snow has fallen here. Some places four. And you get up into the blues. It has been horrible driving conditions. It has not closed. I-84 did not close in northeast Oregon, but there's been some poor conditions here. The snow is shrinking now, pushing to the south, but snowing down towards Mountain Home. Not good travel conditions. Travel is not advised tonight if you don't have to travel. Just stay on, enjoy your Christmas night at home. And then the tomorrow, it'll get a little better, but there's still going to be snow showers around, and I'll talk about that coming in. You see this kind of shrinking from north to south. There's still some moisture coming in from the west here, and so this may not completely die out. I think it's just going to sag on down to the south. We're going to keep the snow going down towards the Snake River here. And that's really what the computer charts have been saying. Most of the snow south and west of Boise, as that's where the heavy snow is going to be going, especially in the mountains. Look at these wind chills. Winds 15, 16 miles an hour, gusting to 25. If feels like 19 outside, so you don't want to be outside, get in an accident, and then have to sit there and uh, or do any car breaking down. It's not a good time to be outside this time of night with temperatures like that. Winter weather advisory is still in effect until about 11 o'clock tomorrow with the storm warnings now for the south here. These have been in effect. This is where the storm is headed, the main core of the moisture staying on down to the south and west. So here's what's happening. The cloud cover, you see it here, the snow falling in this region right here, and still more snow going to be feeding into this, but it is shrinking from north to south as everything slides to the south. See this gray right here? That's a break with this moisture coming through. I think right when this gray moves through, we're going to shut the precipitation off in many locations. But this bright white right here is being enhanced by our storm system sitting offshore here. And that's more moisture coming in. Computer charts are showing this to increase moisture tomorrow. Eastern Oregon again, and then sliding into southwest Idaho during the day, 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow, we could see more snow flying in the Treasure Valley. Let's look at that future cast now. Here's midnight tonight. Doesn't show much going on across southwest Idaho, some light snow showers here, heavier snow here, and we'll push us ahead now to 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. You'll notice some snow on the west end of the valley, so commute tomorrow morning. Won't be as many cars on the roadways, many folks on vacation, but a lot of folks going back to work tomorrow. There could still be some very slick spots on the roadways tomorrow. I would plan on a slow commute, especially coming in from the west, and even from the east, it can be bad because Mountain Home will have the snow going on through tonight, uh, overnight as well. Push us ahead now to afternoon, and notice the blue picking up. More snow showers likely during the day tomorrow. If we can get that temperature above freezing, which we should, road conditions should be better as they're treated, and winds will be lighter. So there'll still be snow flying during the day tomorrow, but it won't be as bad as it will be overnight tonight and early tomorrow morning. Here we push through all the way to Thursday, and notice how Thursday is much better. If you're traveling to Oregon tomorrow, some folks heading to the west, there could be issues tomorrow still. Not as bad as it was today, but it could still be bad. The Thursday certainly looks better. I'm still only going with a trace to Two inches. It has not been a lot of moisture with this. It's just the wind blowing the snow around. A coating of snow in some locations to up to two inches in Ada Canyon County, two, maybe three inches, Ontario westward and northwestward towards the Weezer River Basin, six to ten inches of the Uwahis down Jordan Valley and points to the south. That's where the heavy snow will be, one to two in the Magic Valley, one to two in Ketchum as well. We'll focus in on some locations here in the West Central Mountains. Not a big storm here with the storm going to the south, just one or two inches. I've seen an inch of new snow at Brundage Mountain tonight. Bogus Basin's uh, webcam's not working on their snow stick, so we can't see how much snow has fallen at Bogus. But this computer chart shows by tomorrow morning, now only two tenths in Boise, three tenths called. We'll see, it does not show a lot of precipitation. So, again, we're getting the snow blowing across the roadways, most of the snow down to the south and to the west. But I'll push this ahead now. Later in the day, you see the numbers go up, a, a total accumulation up near an inch in Boise because of adding some snow possible later in the day tomorrow. So, we're going to keep those snow showers going from time to time as we move through the day tomorrow as well. Let's look at that forecast now for the Treasure Valley. Snow tonight, scattered snow showers tomorrow, and that snow will may let up again for times tonight, so we'll call it scattered snow showers. Brisk with those winds still howling overnight. Very hazardous travel conditions because of that wind combined with the snow. One to two inches likely in the mountains, scattered snow showers. East Central Mountains tomorrow, maybe an inch, maybe two in those higher elevations. Temperatures in the 20s, we'll have some blustery winds blowing in the East Central Mountains. The Magic Valley, overnight tonight, tomorrow morning could be real bad for the commute, one to three inches, but the wind causing some issues with the blowing snow. My on your side extended forecast 
We'll dry things out on Thursday. Scattered snow, snow showers during the day tomorrow. Again, watch out for the slick roadways. But Thursday, getting better, getting colder in the mornings, drying out. I looked at the new charts. Looks like we could have some light snow on Sunday. Come in and give us another coating of snow. So something else to look forward to. So we got our white Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Hopefully yeah. you're home safe. Yeah, let's hope so. Now, again, this is the type of storm that I think is most dangerous because people look at it on the, the interstate especially and say, oh, it doesn't look that bad. It's not piling up. Exactly. It's really slick out and there. And that snow comes across the roadways and cars go over it. It causes a layer of yeah, ice to form. That's been fun. happening. A lot of cars going 60 miles an hour out there. Not past good. 35 is better. Safe. Yeah, 35, mm -hmm. absolutely. Thanks, Scott. Well, after being...